Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're checking out Clam Digger by Richard Upchurch, aka Spoonweaver. A very strange string of words I just said there. Anyway, uh, this is one that was suggested by you guys for me to check out for the show. Uh, it's something to do with finding parking. And I'm not sure where clams come into the mix here, but we're going to figure it out right now. Uh, we've got a game A, a game B, top scores, worst scores. It's nice that they keep track of the worst scores. You know, you need that. Let's try game A. Start at the beginning. That's an angry phone. Yes, pick that phone up, please. I can dig more clams than you, stupid. No, oh boy. We're gonna do it. The beach. Alright, now, find parking. Alright, this is where the game gets good, as far as I know. Um, now I'm told... This has something to do with Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I believe this was- a Oh, there's a parking spot down there, but I can't get to it. And now I'm trapped behind this little tiny stupid purple car. Oh man, I gotta go back. So I guess this was- Oh, I just ran over a man. Uh, this was like an idea from an Aqua Teen Hunger Force episode or something. That's what it said in the readme anyway. And we got some pretty sweet 80s music playing. I kind of like that. Oh man, this is tricky business here. Whoa, I think I hit a dog or something. I don't know what that is. Well, <laughs> maybe it's supposed to be a seagull. I mean, this is kind of like what it's really like at the beach. I see a parking spot there. Oh my god, I'm gonna get it too. What? You've got to be kidding me. How am I supposed to go when there's like stuff in the way? Man, they just trolled me. I just randomly go down this alley. There's nothing here. All right, back we go. Yeah, this music's really good. I would, uh, listen to this. Whoa. Freaking purple car. Oh, there's two spots! I'm gonna just hit this thing. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna hit all the things until I get my way. I don't understand what you want me to do, man. There's... There's no cars there, and then they are. Oh, I just killed a dog now. That one has a car in it. Is it possible to actually get to the clam digging, or is this the entire game? I don't even care what I hit anymore. I guess that's part of the idea, is eventually you just get complacent. Hey, I got it! I wonder why that time... Alright, it's time to dig clams, right? Uh, your score placed on the scoreboard is into your name. Alright, I'm Nick. Hey, how's it going? And again? I just did that. I guess I get to do it twice. Alright, well that was game A. I guess there wasn't actually any clam digging to be done there. This is game B. Uh, why were there so many spots that I couldn't park in that eventually the car stopped showing up? Like, I don't understand. Are you supposed to, like, trigger the cars to show up, like, four or five times and then eventually just lets you have it? Or is it just random chance? Because, I mean, there's nothing I can do to make them not teleport in as far as I can tell. Yeah, that's right, get out of there. Now you're trapped. You can't hit that bird or whatever, right? There's too many animals walking around in this parking lot. Man, this is how I feel if I have to go to the freaking mall around Christmas. Only, on top of all the stuff walking around, you know, the animals, the seagulls, the other cars, like, the cars just don't care. Like, they're almost trying to provoke you to hit them. And they're all angry. Every single person is angry. I mean, the holidays are just a special time of the year because it's the time when we can be overtly angry to strangers because we want to buy stuff. We don't have a reason for it. We just need to buy stuff and we need to be angry about it. I mean, I gotta tell you, like, I don't get road rage or anything. I'm not that kind of guy, but I do get pretty upset whenever I have to do this 
parking lot shuffle thing. And you know what it's like. I'm sure you've all been there. If you drive, I mean. Uh, not everybody drives, that's fine. Some people, you live in cities, you're not old enough to drive. Various reasons. Maybe you just don't want to. I don't blame you. This is not that great. <laughs> I live in, like, upstate New York. I live far away from everything. You gotta drive for a half an hour to get pretty much anywhere. Like, you gotta drive for 20 minutes just to go get, you know, groceries. Which is, uh, not great. I mean, the town I live in doesn't even have its own... You know, shopping spot. I mean, it's got a pharmacy. That's it. Got a gas station. But, you know, you don't have to live in a place like that. It's not good, generally, to have to drive that much. And, you know, preferably, if you can, it's better to just take a bike. I think that's ideal. Oh, come, come on! The freaking dog ran into the car that time. That wasn't my fault. I'm just gonna run down this human being. I win. I don't know what I did differently to win this time. Anyway, I don't know where I was going with my little parking story, but uh, I know that it is very, very frustrating. And as far as, like, being in public, uh, getting involved in that whole parking lot thing, that's probably the time when I get, like, the most frustrated in general. There's our top five scores. So I guess that was Clam Digger. It's going to be a pretty short video today. Um, I don't really think of what else there is to talk about when it is to do with this. Uh, really, it's just it's all about the parking. It's not so much about the clams. Uh, maybe there will be a game in the future where we'll get to explore the options of how we can dig faster than our bro. I have a feeling game B is just game A without the cutscene at the beginning, which I guess is fine. Um, it's got like a weird, like, organ trail feel to the art style to it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, th I mean, it's obviously just like NES sprites and all that. I mean, it's not really an especially original or crazy new idea or anything, but you know, when it's done well... It's done well, and I think in this case it was just fine. I think it was appropriate. I mean, I've never really played a game that was just strictly about parking. Of course, I'm also sort of thinking of Cream Wolf a little bit with the the driving around thing and like hitting people. Although, could you hit people in that? I think you just gave them ice cream. I think that was about it. You hit them when you were the wolf, and then you want to just tear them limb from limb. But that's just how it goes when you're a wolf. That's just the way it is. This is the life that you live when we're wolf. It's apostrophe in there. You know what I mean. All right, so that's going to be the end for Clam Digger. I hope you enjoyed this somewhat short indie impressions video. I, I try to keep them at least 10 to 15 minutes long generally. Sometimes they get a little overboard and they go like 45 minutes to an hour long. Those ones are probably a little too long. But somewhere in the like the 15 to 25 minute range is like the sweet spot for me. I don't know, let me know if you feel the same way. But so occasionally you just got to do one that's fairly short. And of course, I could just keep lengthening it by rambling, because I can basically filibuster you guys at a house and home. But I'm not going to do that, because I like you, and I won't want to bore you or waste your time, make you sit here on YouTube. Because you have other better things to do. I know you people. You, you, you got good stuff to do over there. You got all kinds of games to go play. You got friends to talk to. Anyway, I think I just started doing that thing I said I was not going to do. And don't get started on the you people thing. That's not funny anymore. That joke's over with seen its 15 minutes of fame yeah i'm totally just filibustering you guys at this point i'm sorry let's wrap this episode up indie-impressions.com for the website if you want to check out all the videos in the series facebook.com slash indie impressions if you want to leave a like over there you'll get all the new updates for the series as well as contests and occasional game giveaways or news updates and at Rockley Smile, if you want to say hey to me over on Twitter, feel free to do so. If you just want to chat about an indie game you think is cool, send me a suggestion. Or if you're an indie game developer and you'd like to share your game with me, you can, of course, send me an email at the website I mentioned earlier, which is indie-impressions.com. I will include the download link for this game, as I always do right in the description, as well as uh, all my social media links. So if you missed anything, feel free to go browse through there and you'll be filled in on whatever it is that you missed so that is going to be it thank you so much for watching guys please make sure to come back again tomorrow because this series will continue to roll on indefinitely as long as you're still enjoying it and i certainly hope you are we are uh i don't know we're probably past the year mark at this point i'm recording these things so far in advance now i haven't even actually added them up but it's okay there's going to be some sort of a celebratory something or other coming up for that so don't worry about it. it don't think you missed anything is what i'm trying to say so i hope you have a lovely night and i will see you again tomorrow